and welcome to my kitchen and today we're going to be grilling off some New York strip steaks and we're going to share with you a couple of different ways to marinate them. We've done two in an Italian dressing marinade and, an, and two in a Rada four peppercorn marinade that they sent for us to try and we're going to give these a try and we're going to show you how we do it. So let's go see how we grill New York strip steaks. Okay, we're going to go over how simple it is to just prep and marinate a New York strip steak to throw on the grill. Now, I have two different kinds of marinade tonight, but these uh, steaks were just too beautiful to pass up. They're about an inch in thickness, and we got these at Sam's Club and uh, had to have them. We don't get steak very often, so, you know, if you're going to get steak, get good steak. Don't, don't cheap out and buy thin steaks because they're cheaper. If you can't afford steak, then have something else that week. But on the occasion that you can get steak, get good steak. Um, we have this marinade that was sent to us by Rada, and it's one of their quick mixes, and it is their four peppercorn marinade. And I went ahead and I mixed it all up already. And there's just uh, three tablespoons each of pineapple juice, vinegar, and oil in here and I've had it sitting out for a little while and we're going to give this a try on two of the steaks and then on the other two steaks we're going to use our favorite Italian dressing. This is one of my favorite ways to marinate steak and that's just simple with Italian dressing. What I am going to do though is I am going to salt and pepper. Make sure that you season your steak well because a lot of this is going to come off anyway. So we season one side, season the other side, and it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to put them in a bag anyway and then we're going to toss this marinade on top. But you always want to make sure that your steak is properly seasoned. Okay, so there's one marinade and here we're going to do a bag for the other marinade. And this couldn't be easier. I'm just going to give this a quick whisk. Toss that in there. <clears throat> We're just going to marinate these for as long as it takes for the grill to heat up. Mm -hmm. You don't need to marinate them much longer than that. And I'm just going to pop these in the fridge. And now for the Italian dressing. Seal it up and make sure that the steaks get contact with all that goodness there. Awesome. So into the fridge these are going to go for about 15 or 20 minutes while the grill is still heating up and we'll be back when it's time to toss these on there. Alright, now it's time to throw all these goodies on the grill. We've got our steaks and our portobello mushrooms. So we'll be back when it's time to serve dinner and fix you a plate of delicious marinated New York strip steaks. All right, our steaks have come off the grill. They've rested for about 10 minutes. You always want to let your steaks rest. That's with any cut of meat because if you cut them open right after they come off of that hot grill, you're going to lose all of those internal juices. Resting allows those juices to redistribute, the meat kind of calms down and becomes more tender. And if there's any carryover cooking involved, that's going to take place during that resting time as well. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and slice in here. There we go. Look at that. It's perfectly, it's medium. That's just how Rick likes his steak. And this is the one that was with the Rada marinade, and then this is the one that I did with the salad dressing. And they're perfectly cooked to medium. They're, they're beautiful. You wouldn't want to taste this, would you? Mm, I guess. <laughs> if I have to. Mm. Oh, my heavens. Mm. Oh, melts in your mouth. That's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yummy. There's nothing like a good steak. And steak is definitely a treat. Mm. That's the one 
with this Italian dressing. And this one is the one with the Ray de Marinade. Whoopsie. Mm-hmm. Mm. That oh, is excellent. Really very good. Mm -hmm. I love them both. And I know you will too. So I hope that you give this marinating technique a try the next time you want to grill up some delicious steaks. I hope that you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watched today. And I hope that you try it. And I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow. Until next time, happy eating!